You did say that there would be a lot of uncertainty uh, around this number, but you also said that the signals you were tracking indicated sharply higher employment levels relative to March. So directionally, do you think this number, uh, the print itself, makes sense? Yeah, I mean, it was a little on the disappointing side, not as much as in April, but I think for the same reasons. One, it again seems that the seasonals may have been a headwind here. In not seasonally adjusted terms, employers added almost a million jobs. And number two, I think there is pretty strong evidence that labor supply is an issue, given the big increase in average hourly earnings alongside mildly disappointing job gains. And that increase was also concentrated in leisure and hospitality, which is the lowest paid sector where these labor supply issues are probably most pronounced. Right. Um, participation, uh, again, challenging. Were you surprised that we went negative a little bit on it? And do you think it's tied to some of the other data that we've seen that suggests people are just less interested in going back to the job that they had before, period? Yeah, I think it's a, another data point in support of the idea that labor supply is an issue at the moment. And I think the household survey overall was pretty consistent with what you saw in the in, in the establishment survey, also a somewhat weaker than expected job gain despite the bigger decline in the unemployment rate. So I think it all sort of makes sense. I mean, what I take away is that a lot of these issues are probably temporary. As we go into the fall, we're going to probably see a significant increase in labor supply. The pandemic continues to recede. Schooling is going to be in person next next year, and the unemployment benefit top-ups are expiring over the next few months. So I wouldn't say that this is a major source of concern in terms of our ability to recover. But for these reasons, I think it's taking a little bit longer in the labor market. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.